Now we are on to speaking section of test 3, IELTS student book 8. And this is part 1, which is always common to all the tests. Means here examiner would ask you about yourself, your home, work or studies and other familiar topics. And then you can always say, I belong to, I am myself. You can say, I am Mr. X, I belong to this place, say Agra. And I work at uh, Gurgaon in Accenture as a software analyst. And you can also say, if you are not uh, working, then you can... Uh, add like this that uh, myself Mr. X and I belong to Varanasi and I study in uh, Rookie College of Engineering in me medical or say some pharmacy or say you know MBA or any engineering stream then you can also add your hobbies that I love watching TV and uh, playing cricket because uh, I am a cricket player that is why I love watching cricket as well as uh, playing cricket. Then the question would be like this, do you like to have flowers in your home, why or why not? So there are always two opinions. So if you, are, if you have opinion or if you agree with this, then you can say I would love to have flowers in my home because I have quite enough space to first of all place them and I uh, have some time in the mornings to take care of them. And you know, first of all, we are not very much or we don't live in a neighborhood where I can see uh, many plants. So this is a good idea which uh, will uh, fulfill my requirement of living near to the scenery or say woods and flowers are lovely also the colors they always amaze me and few flowers they they smell very good then where would you go to buy flowers why and this uh, you can uh, construct your answer in because there are two categories if i have to uh, buy flowers to uh, for my home or for to to you know write them in my home then what i do is i'll go to a nearby say you you have different uh, places where you can buy so whichever is coming into your mind means uh, you can also always talk about nursery i will go to my nearby nursery and uh, choose some good flowers which would require uh, less maintenance and then if i need to uh, you know, purchase flower or to give it to someone for some occasion or event then i will go to x place because their flowers are very good of high quality and they are fresh i have always gone to that place and uh, you know purchase flower and bought flower from that place x place you can always answer in your opinion then on what occasions would you give someone flowers then you can add this there are various occasions which are suitable where i can uh, you know gift and uh, give flowers to my dear and dear ones and family and friends. The first is um, marriage anniversary. Then we have uh, various retirements, you know, because I work in this company. I've, and in the, in the event of uh, retirement, I usually give flowers. And also if uh, I, I go to see someone at their home, or they invite me so for some event, then I always, uh, you know, take this opportunity to give them flowers then are flowers important in your life means flowers importance in your culture then you can always say that flowers are integral part of uh, any event in our society may it be a cultural event a college event or an office event or a personal event flowers are always there and there are different uh, variety of flowers which i use means if you want to give someone then you, you generally choose lily while uh, when the, you need to garland some place, for example, someone is coming to someone, uh, some dignitary is coming uh, at your place or at your office, then you would uh, use or employ flowers like roses there. So there, it is always important to have flowers anywhere, may it be a uh, different culture. In our culture, it is it has a lot of importance. To describe a meeting, you remember going to at work, college or school, describe a meeting. You should say when and where the meeting was held, who was at the meeting and what the people at the meeting talked about and explain why you are rem you remember going to this meeting. Then uh, it depends on you whether you choose the meeting at your work, college or school. And you will have to talk about the topic for one to two minutes and you have one minute to think about what you're going to say. And you can make your notes to help you if you wish so you will be provided with the paper now don't write the content means 
try to just uh, bullet the points or write only salient points or features which you are going to explain or present to the examiner so how you are going to start is this time meeting remember going to at work school college or school so past last weekend uh, there was a meeting of young scientists or young uh, technocrats at our place where i work and these meeting this meeting was called to brainstorm on certain topics and these were the topic related to technology like how can uh, we improve the work which are which we are going on which which is going on means we can add substance and innovativeness and make it state of art so that meeting was uh, chaired by our director the office various office bearers were present there and also young people who have just or uh, recently joined so in the beginning the agenda was uh, presented and the convener of the meeting he presented the agenda and he uh, expected the crowd or the participant to one by one present their ideas and to my surprise many of uh, us which uh, who are my friends also they came up with very brilliant i mean genuine ideas brilliant ideas and really set of art ideas they spoke about uh, latest technologies how can those technologies can be imbibed or can be used employed in our uh, gadgets and softwares then various others they also pointed in a moderate or subtle manner the point where we are lagging and where we can improve upon and the office bearers and the director himself he took off took a note of these uh, drawbacks or problems that were uh, take uh, took up or presented by some of the young people you know to a certain extent some some topics or some ideas were not uh, very relevant but still always something can be taken out and few of them they were speaking about their personal problems but uh, i presume that 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 meeting was not the place to discuss but uh, the convener he was uh, able to to cut short and curtail the, the their opinions but in all the meeting was very fruitful and the ideas were very good and we agreed in conclusion that we are going to adopt and uh, think over this and various uh, people were uh, given various tasks so that they can come up with uh, the implementation part the uh, about the ideas which were presented then discussion topics going to meetings example what are the different types of meeting that people often go then you can add that uh, if uh, because i i work so generally there are various uh, in various committee there are various committees in which i i am member either a member or convener or chairman so these are the meetings i generally attend and uh, if if you talk about my house means personally i live in a place called x and uh, there is a monthly meeting where everyone uh, meet greet and discuss about uh, the community societal and uh, colony problem and how to get rid of them and what is a good idea and how can we improve upon what present day is going on so these are the meetings i generally attend then some people say that no one likes to go to meetings what do you think in this you can add that uh, i somewhat agree with uh, this thought that people generally you know they uh, uh, don't like to go to meetings but uh, i would add that meetings are inevitable because we are social uh, animals we need to meet we need to talk and only after, if we talk then the ideas will come if we talk then a solution of any problem can be uh, generated or any any event which is planned only meeting or you know various people they may have uh, ideas in in uh, favor or in, against so in conclusion generally meetings are fruitful sometimes what happens that some people they try to override and uh, present their idea in uh, in not a very subtle manner then the meeting is unnecessarily prolonged because of some of the other reason that is why people think that meetings are uh, not worth uh, or they don't like going to meetings then why can it sometimes be important to go to meetings why can it sometimes be important to go to meetings uh, as i just uh, indicated 
that meetings are important because once uh, unless you meet unless you meet and people come variety of people come with different mindsets with different ideas then only work can be done if you are a senior or supervisor if you don't talk to your subordinate what work is going on um, what is the problem how you're going to uh, you know compensate with that that is why meetings are always important whether they are formal or informal then international meetings example questions can be why do you think world leaders often have meetings together in this uh, you can say in my opinion world leaders they have they have various uh, they are involved in different uh, communities or uh, say conferences they are maybe uh, say if we if we talk about india we we have sark so we are member of sark so when we when our world leader visits there then the leaders of our vicinity or neighborhood countries they talk and they talk and they uh, any problem is there then that that problem can be solved any other ideas can be discussed and what about other meetings which are quite general like uh, the meeting which was held recently in france about uh, carbon dioxide emissions or global warming it was a matter of global concern that is why leader leader meet and try to brainstorm to um, avoid that problem or to eradicate that problem then what possible difficulties might be involved in organizing meetings between world leaders there are various uh, problems that can may be encountered if uh, some country or or some organization wants to organize a meeting and they won't want to invite world leaders because world is divided on the basis of uh, uh, you know that may not be sound so uh, subtle but uh, on the basis of religion on the basis of color race creed and if you go to past the things things uh, things are still uh, going on people remember past so if some problem is there between two countries and the problem is prominent and that has proliferated in these years so when these world leader come if they generally ask if they is coming or she is coming or he is coming or uh, any leader of that country is coming so it will be it is always a problem to to provide a platform or to organize an event or a meeting where every single world leader could come and they can have a uh, uh, you know productive meeting then do you think that meetings between international leaders will become fre- more frequent in the future or will there be less need for world leaders to meet as far as i think what i've been following in news and uh, newspapers and magazine i believe that meetings between international leaders are going to be more frequent than ever there is uh, no question that they are going to meet uh, less the reason being that there are various problems which are now global like terrorism problem now terrorism problem is not only subjected to or related to one or the other country it is a global phenomenon problem and various as i just indicated global warming it is a problem of whole world means that problem is going to impact each and every soul present in the mother earth that is why i believe that meetings would be more frequent in coming years so this was uh, speaking test 3 ielts 8 thank you so much